Hi there, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming along today to our press conference. My name is David McNeil. I'm a freelance journalist and a uh, former member of the Board of this Club. Our uh, guest speaker today uh, needs no introduction to many of you because this is his third time, I believe, coming to the club. Uh, Katsunobu uh, Sakurai is the mayor of Minami Soma. Uh, he was briefly uh, one of, if not the most famous faces from the uh, nuclear disaster of five years ago. Uh, when he posted a YouTube video uh, which became viral, uh, pleading for help for his city, uh, Minamisoma, which he said had been abandoned uh, by not only the authorities but uh, the media. Uh, at the low point of the disaster, uh, his town's population fell from 71,000 to under 10,000, uh, effectively becoming a ghost town. And uh, the town became symbolic, if you like, of the chaos uh, of Japan's official response to the nuclear disaster. I've just talked to him about uh, the sort of aftermath. He says that the population has recovered uh, to 51,000 people. That's the uh, local population. And then it's swelled by uh, people from other towns to 57. So it still uh, is missing about 20,000 people from its original population. Uh, the final death toll was 1,121 people who, of course, uh, were victims mostly of the tsunami and earthquake. Uh, Mayor Sakurai is going to talk, obviously, about the problems and the successes that he's had uh, in uh, getting his town this far, five years after the disaster, and, of course, in what he intends to do from now on. So please do give him the best of your attention. Uh, and if I can remind you just to switch off your mobile phones if you haven't already done so. Uh, can I also draw your attention to our wonderful translator, Mary Joyce? She doesn't like the attention, but I'll give it to her anyway. Uh, and um, we'll kick off. Mary Sakurai, on the え、皆さんこんにちは。南。南相馬市長の桜井勝信でございます。I have had the opportunity to speak here at the FCCJ before, and this is my third time. I was here for the first time in 2011. The second time was the year before last, and so this is my third appearance here. え、原発事故後南相馬市が一時期1万人の人口を割り込んで、ま、現在5万7000人まで回復していますけれども、大きな問題としては原発被災地どこでも共通ですが、若い人たちが町を離れてしまっていて、今転出してしまったのは9000人を超えています。これは言い立て村ご存知かと思いますけれども、言い立て村のま1.5倍の人口がもうすでに転出してしまっているという現実です。Prior to the nuclear power plant disaster, as we heard, the population was more than 70,000 people. However, as a result of the disaster, at the peak, it actually fell to less than 10,000 people. Now we have uh, recovered to the point that there are now 57,000 residents in Minami Soma, so a large proportion of people have returned. However, one of the lingering problems, which is something which is common to all of the disaster-affected areas, is that many young people have left the city, left the area, particularly the generation which would be working, so those from 15 to 64 years of age. Uh, many of them have left Minami Soma. There are still 13,000 people of this generation who have not returned to the city. 
And one of the most serious issues, which is part of this, is of course this is also the generation which uh, has children, or the child-rearing generation. And many of these people have officially moved away from the city, so also officially changed their registration of residence. And there are 9,000 people uh, of this generation who have done so. This 9,000 people is actually 1.5 times the population of the town or the village of Itate, which I'm sure you are all familiar with. あの、残念ながら20キロ、30キロという線引きをされて、20キロ現在も避難し続いてますけれども、放射線上に線引きされたことで、放射線上に放射線物質が拡散するんじゃないかという恐怖感が多分多くあったと思います。ところが、スピー
なおかつ一昨年から2年間にわたって、まあ、幼稚園保育園料等の無料化をしたことで、1年間に幼稚園保育園に入る子どもたちが200人以上増えていて、現在は待機児童が90人を超えるまでになっています。待機児童のうちの90人を超える内訳については、0歳児から2歳児がこれだけ多くなっているということが現状であって、今、南相馬市の悩みは、保育士を確保しながら、保育園の再開をもっともっと増やしていくということが課題の一つになってきています。And within the city of Minami Soma, since July of 2011, so just a few months after the disaster, we began to uh, introduce uh, tests for internal uh, exposure to radiation through whole body counters for children in Minami Soma.、Uh, as a result, we are now at the stage where 70% of the children or the population of children of Minami Soma has returned. And within these tests, which have been carried out, 99.86% of the children have had no radiation detected. So within the whole body counter test, There has been 99.86% with no detection of radiation. And so, efforts such as ensuring this kind of very thorough and consistent health management has meant that we、uh, have recovered to this level. One other issue, if we look at since the past two years, the reopening of、uh, kindergartens or nursery schools within Minami Soma, there has been an increase of 200%. Uh, children entering such schools per year. We are actually at the situation now where there are、uh, 92 children on the waiting list to enter such、uh, nursery or kindergarten schools, and these are of the age of、uh, 0 to 2 years old. So, actually, one of the challenges we as a city are facing now is how to reopen sufficiently these kindergartens and、uh, children's facilities, nurseries, and so on, and also how to、uh, guarantee or how to ensure that we have enough also professional、uh, workers to be working in these kindergartens also. 皆さんご存知かと思いますけれども、南相馬市は20キロ圏内の警戒区域の解除に、川内村、田村市と同様に、24年、平成2012年の4月から警戒区域を解除して、復旧に邁進してきました。As many of you are aware, within Minami Soma, the areas which are within the 20 kilometer zone, in a similar way to、uh, as was done for Kawauchi and Tamura, since 2012,、uh, the restricted area、uh, zoning of these parts of Minami Soma were lifted. 20 km 圏内に1万4000人の居住人口が当時おりましたので、避難指示20キロ圏内かかった中では、波江に次いで多いのが南相馬市なんです。And so within this、uh, two, uh, 20 kilometer area, there was originally 14,000 people living within Minami Soma City in the 20 kilometer area, which means that actually, in regards to the number of people who were evacuated, Minami Soma had the second highest amount from within the 20 kilometer zone、uh, following Namie. Minami Soma Shiwa, Ichi Hayaku, Fukyu, O Stekite, Josen Katsdo, Nimo Torikun de Kiteite, まあ、今年27年度内にほぼ住宅除染は終える予定です。In Minami Soma, efforts to ensure that the recovery can be done as quickly as possible have been implemented, such as also efforts for decontamination. And the decontamination of houses within the area is thought to be complete by within this financial year. まあ、避難指示区域内の今、解除に向けての課題解決が最大の課題であります。Currently, one of the、uh, key challenges which we are facing is looking at how to deal with those zones which are being prepared for their evacuation orders to be lifted. Minami Soma Shi no Bai wa, Issak Nen no Shigats kara, Bio In no Shin Lio mo, Nijuk Kilo Ken Nai de Sai Kai o Shiori Masu Shi, Ma Kori Ten ni Tsuite mo, Shi ga Chok Ye de Sak Nen kara Sai Kai o Shi Kite Masu. And in Minami Soma, for example, since、uh, April of two years ago,、uh, medical tests and so on within hospitals in the 20 kilometer zone have been restarted as of this time. And so, as of April of two years ago, so 2014, efforts also in terms of preparing for the lifting of evacuation orders of particular places, including registration to be able to stay overnight in places and so on, has continued. There are currently 1,600 people thus registered in Minami Soma. 
戻っていただいて復旧復興に携わっていただきたいというのは私たちの考えでありますけれどもただ5年経ってしまうと若い世代を中心にしないがいに自分の住むところをまた家を構えてもうすでに住んでいる人たちも多くなっているのは事実です。And so, of course, our hope is for as many people as possible to return to Minami Soma and also join or become involved in the ongoing recovery process. However, we are also faced with the reality that now that five years has passed since the disaster, particularly those from the younger generations have moved away from the area and have built you know, new homes and new lives in their places of evacuation or the places they have moved to as well. So, we are also faced with the reality that they are now living their own new lives in these other places. まあ、その一方で、まあ、年,年配の方々を中心に一刻も早く応急仮設住宅から出てまた借り上げ住宅から出て自宅に戻って生活を再建したいというふうに望んでいる市民も多く出ているのも事実です。And at the same time, we are also sincerely hoping that as soon as possible, those people who are still remaining within the temporary shelters, temporary housing, and also subsidized public housing, especially those elderly people who are remaining in such places, can as soon as possible be able to once again return to their own homes. えー、帰還を早めることで賠償が少なくなるとりわけ財物賠償が少なくなるというような国の制度設計があるからこそ20キロ圏内他の自治体と同様に同じく賠償を受けられるべきだというふうに考える人たちがいるのも事実です。And so, in regards to there are, of course,、uh, citizens who harbor concerns or even opposition to plans to return.、Um, one of the reasons for this is fears in regard to radiation. However, as well as this, I would also like to say that another factor in their opposition or concerns is also in regards to compensation, particularly、uh, compensation for assets. The national government policy is for this to be in,、uh, decreased or even、uh, gotten rid of upon return as well. And so, issues with regards to the national government's policy in regards to Compensation is one of the reasons which many people are also opposing returning to Minami Soma. And this is, of course,、uh, they are calling, for example, for the same policy as being put in place in other evacuated areas to be put in place for Minami Soma in regards to compensation. And I also believe it is obvious or clear that having received the same evacuation orders, the same compensation policy should also be in place for people no matter which、uh, municipality they are from. And this is something about which I am strongly appealing to the national government about. えー、早,く早く戻った人間が損をするというような構造になっていることについては、まあ、残念であるけれども変えられていないのが実態です。However, unfortunately, in regards to this system,、uh, or the national government system, in which compensation is reduced for those areas which are able to return earlier, unfortunately, we have not at this stage received any positive response for the government. In fact, there is no change at all in their policy in regards to this. 私は原発事故直後からこれだけ多くの人間が生活をできなくなってきている、したがって原発には頼らないまちづくりを進めるということを宣言して、まあ、昨年3月に脱原発都市宣言を多分、国内で初めてやった首長だと思います。And looking at the situation following the nuclear power plant disaster, immediately after where so many people's lives were affected, in fact, they were unable to continue their lives as they were. Looking at how we can create a community or municipality which does not rely on nuclear power is one of the key challenges. In March of last year, 2015,、uh, I officially made a declaration on behalf of the city of Minami Soma that the city would be a nuclear power phase out or an anti nuclear power city. And I believe that this is actually one of the first, or perhaps the first, such Declaration to have been made by a municipality anywhere in Japan. The Hukou Songo Kakuno Naka de Nisen Sanjunen Made Nua, Minami Soma Shinai de Subete Saise Kano Energy Nyote Energy of Makanauto, Yukoto Kaitimas. Kono Kakuni Sote, Ima t 
太陽光を含めた再生可能エネルギーの整備について進めているところでございます。今までにない形の農業への取り組み、そして新しい産業としてのロボット産業への参入など、今までになかった試みを進めています。And in regards to industry, and particularly new industry for the city of Minami Soma, we are now looking at, for example, using such solar power、uh, for agricultural purposes, for example, growing、uh, fruit or vegetables and tomatoes, for example. So, in the agricultural sector, there are such new efforts in place, as well as this, we have newly become involved in the robotic industry as well. 東日本大震災と東電の原発事故の際に私は世界史的災害を受けているというふうに申し上げてきました従って南相馬市は世界史的な復興を成し遂げるんだということを当時宣言してきました。And at the time, I therefore declared that Minami Soma's recovery process would also be something on a world scale. 今までの通りの復興、国がメニューを示すような復興だけでは、再興できないという思いからこのようなことを考えておりました。And I believe that if the recovery process were to just go forward, well, as things, you know, as they had been prior to the disaster, or according to just as is laid out by the national government, then we would not be able to rebuild our city. 南相,馬市民が南相馬市民がすべて戻るということは不可能です。したがって、新しい人たちを呼び込む施策が必要ですし、そのためには南相馬市だけしかやっていないような施策展開が必要です。安全性を担保するような産業再生が必要ですから、私は先ほど申し上げましたように、再生可能エネルギーとしては再生,再生可能エネルギーを最優先にしながらの、エネルギー政策を展開しますけれども、まあ、子どもたち、若い世代に対しては、新しい挑戦と同時に、生活することが安全であるということを担保できるような政策も同時に展開しなきゃいけないということで取り組んでいます。Of course, it is impossible for all of the citizens of Minami Soma to return. And so, one thing we now need to do as well is look at how we can introduce polities to entice new people to move to Minami Soma as well. For this purpose, we need to have new innovative policies and industries in place and also ensure that we can guarantee the safety of those living in our city. For this reason, the prioritization of renewable energy is one of the key things we are working on. And so, ensuring that for children or younger generation who will be living in Minami Soma, that as well as being able to experience these new challenges, they will also have a place in which it is safe to live. Now, in Minami Soma, the Minami Soma is a place where 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 the Minami Soma is a 土木作業員も含めると8000人の作業員が南相馬市に住んでいます。Within the city of Minami Soma at the moment, as well as of course those workers who are involved in the decontamination efforts within Minami Soma and also construction for example, those who are working in、uh, neighboring places such as Nami and Itate are also having their accommodation within Minami Soma. Therefore, actually the population of workers in Minami Soma at the moment has reached 8000. まあ、このようなことから、交通渋滞が起きて、交通事故が多くなる、また犯罪が多くなるというのも実態です。今、一時的にではあっても不安、市民が不安に駆られるようなことではあってはなりませんので、まあ、警察等とも連携しながら、防犯対策というのも、われわれが行っている最大の課題であり、取り組まなければならない課題でもあります。And as a result of this working population or workers' population in Minami Soma as well, there are also, of course, various impacts to the city, which are the reality. For example, an increase in traffic jams, traffic accidents, and even crime. 
even if their uh, staying within the city is temporary, of course citizens have many concerns in regards to this, which must be assuaded. Therefore, we are working, for example, with the local police on crime prevention efforts as also one of our priorities. 南相馬市は旧相馬中村藩のお伝統行事である相馬の馬追を一千年にわたって続けてきた地域でもございます。震災直後に多くの外国人の記者に来ていただきましたけれどもその際に私が昼間ないのはなぜなんだということも質問を受けました私は侍文化をずっと担ってきた本人でもあるのでこういう震災でへこたれるわけにはいかないんだということを申し上
被災地から考えています。先週の木曜日、先週の金曜日に。Like Germany, no、longer relying on nuclear power. 被災に際して、多くの国,国々からサポートをいただきましたことに改めて感謝を申し上げます。まあ、先日、まあ、年内に台湾に行かせていただいて、まあ、その後、台湾で地震によって被災したことに対して、今日午前中に台湾にも代表部にお見舞いをしてきましたけれども。世界中がいろんな苦しみの中にあって、住民、世界の人々が望むのは、安全な社会、安全な地域であることを望んでいると思います。南相馬市も被災したことを真摯に受け止めながら、市民の安全な社会生活ができるようなまちづくりを今後とも進めることを皆さんにお誓い申し上げながら、まあ、皆さんとともに、ディスカッションができればと思いますので、ぜひご協力いただきたいと思います。Having experienced the disaster, well, first of all, I would once again like to thank those people from countries all around the world who supported us through、uh, that tragedy. As well, of course, we see、uh, places like Taiwan has recently also suffered a great earthquake as well. And actually, this morning, the city of Minami Soma sent a delegation to Taiwan to express their condolences and meet with people there in Taiwan. Within a situation where there is so much suffering around the world, what people around the world are really hoping for is for safe communities and safe societies. In which they can live. And of course, this is the same for Minami Soma. And so, having experienced this disaster, which we take very seriously, I would like to pledge to everybody that the city and I personally will continue to work to create an environment which is safe for people to live in. And I look forward to discussing this further with you all and also to your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't take the man's watch.、Um, Thank you very much for, as usual, a forthright presentation.、Um, we will open it up to questions. We have about 25 minutes.、Uh, working press first. I see Anthony's hand,、uh, Stephen, and then that gentleman over there. So uh, if uh, you could come up and just tell us who you work for and your name, please, and put your question. Thank you. <coughs> Anthony Rowley, Singapore Business Times.、Um, we had a speaker. A short time ago, she was a German lady and she was a medical doctor, and she was an expert on Chernobyl in Russia. She said that、um, even now, many years after Chernobyl, cases of cancer are still occurring. Therefore, it takes a long time for the full effects of radiation to appear. She also said that in Japan, there's too much emphasis on checking thyroid cancer, but not other forms of cancer. So, I'd like to know what your views are on those points.、And、very quickly, if I may,、um, you said that levels of radiation are different even within the 20 kilometer zone. Did you mean they were or they still are? And if so, why? Why is that? まあ、私は医療の専門家ではありませんけれども、まあ、震災直後から、まあ、東大の医科学研究所の先生方を中心として、まあ、あらゆる専門家が南相馬市に入っていただきました、まあ、ホルボディカウンターの話もしましたけれどもこれも専門家の助言があっていち早く取り組んだ取り組みでした、まあ、結果として多分福島県内で一番最初にホルボディカウンターでの検査をしたのが南相馬市だと思います当時は若干あの内部被ばもありましたけれども、今現在、先ほども多分申し上げたと思いますけれども、内部被ば検査をして出てくるのはほとんどないというのが実態ですし、チェルノブイリと全く違う状況については、我々水も食料も徹底した検査をしていて、検査をしたものでなければ、子どもたちも学校給食にも使わないと、また職業の食後、学校給食を食した後の検査まで徹底をしています。こういうことで
、まあ、先生方からの,あの指揮権としては南相馬で今暮らす上でまあ、がんの心配する必要は全くないというふうに言われていますしそれ以上に問題なのは仮設住宅等で、えー、運動することが少なくなった年配の皆さんが成人病を患うことによって逆に言うと成人病による、えー、また糖尿病等によるがん患者の発生の方が危険性としては非常にあると、まあ、リスクが高いという話を伺っています。Uh, first of all, I would like to say I am, of course, not a medical expert myself. However, since immediately after the nuclear power plant disaster, we received visits and advice from many、uh, medical experts, including those, for example, from the University of Tokyo.、Uh, I believe that actually Minami Soma was,、uh, if not the first, one of the first places within Fukushima Prefecture to introduce whole body counters very soon after the disaster. And this was done independently on the advice of such experts who were coming to the、uh, city. Um, at the time, there was some internal exposure to radiation which was detected in the results of the whole body counter tests、uh, in the months following the disaster. However, the results we are seeing now within the internal tests being conducted by the whole body counters, as I mentioned during my presentation, is almost zero or very close to zero. One of the main differences in the situation of Fukushima in comparison to Chernobyl is that there are very thorough checks being conducted of both the water and food which is being ingested by people as well. So, for example, all of the ingredients to be used. Used in school lunches or in、uh, food which children are eating and so on is being very thoroughly tested.、Um, so, this is one of the differences I would like to highlight. In regards to continuing to hear the opinions of many experts and so on,、um, we are being told that for those living in Minami Soma, there is no particular risk in regards to cancer. Rather than this, the risk which we should be more aware of actually is、uh, lifestyle diseases, shall we say, for example, caused by elderly people living in temporary housing without the Ability to exercise, to go outside and live a healthy lifestyle as well, meaning there are increases, for example, in diabetes and other diseases which can actually lead to cancer. 20キロ圏内の放射線量のレベルは本当に地域によって違いますし、例えば南相馬市の小高区であっても、海岸線は本当に 0.06 とかいうレベルまで下がっていて、通常の空間線量とほぼ変わりません。まあ、その一方で山側の特に浪江さんなんかと接するような山側の地域ではまだまあ除染をしたといっても1マイクロ程度があるところもありますので線量,によ線量はさまざまといえばさまざまなんですけれども当時から比べるとまあ発災当時から比べるとおおよそ8分の1ないし10分の1まで下がってきているんではないかと思います。And in regards to the question regarding radiation levels,、uh, of course,、uh, both at the time of the disaster and also now, there are completely different levels even within the 20 kilometer zone. For example, if we look at the levels now in the Odaka area of Minami Soma, which is located next to the coast, the radiation dosage levels、uh, have been reduced to around 0.06. For example, which is very similar to the environmental levels which you would see in other places. However, in the mountainous regions, for example, those located in proximity of Mount Namie, we are seeing even following the decontamination efforts, there are levels of, for example, one microsievert per hour in some places as well. So there is a great variation even now in the radiation levels within Minami Soma and the areas within the 20 kilometer zone. However, if we do compare this to the levels which were experienced at the time of the disaster, I would say that they have、uh, fallen to perhaps one. まず南相馬の避難指示区域内に特に小高区に戻りたくない理由の中には、まあ、上位に占めるのが福島第一原発から近いということが理由の一つに挙げる人がまだまだおりますつまり収束に対する不安というのもあるのも実態でございます。And in regards to concerns which people have about returning to areas,、uh, For example, Odaka, or the Odaka area within Minami Soma, and those areas which were evacuated.、Uh, one of the key reasons which、uh, is making people not wanting to return is its close proximity to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant disaster and concerns that the situation on site at the nuclear power plant is not yet brought under control. So, this is one of the key reasons、uh, for which people are not wanting to return to such areas. Thank you, Stephen. Hi, Steve Herman from The Voice of America. I'm wondering if you could also address concerns about these 
millions of cubic meters of open air radioactive soil that's being stored all over Fukushima Prefecture. How big, uh, how, how much are you worried about that? And what do you think is the solution? Because it looks like it's just going to stay there for years or many decades. Are you worried that it's going to just stay in Fukushima Prefecture forever? ま、されて出てきた廃棄物も含めて再利用することをずっと国、特に環境省に提案してきました。今ようやく環境省が3000レベル以下であれば再利用の道を開くような取り組みをし始めています。これは今まで仮置き場に3年、中間貯蔵施設に30
Eric Slavin with Stars and Stripes. Uh, as you mentioned, there are still a number of people in temporary housing at this point that was only supposed to last for about uh, two years, and now it's year five. Does your city have the available resources uh, and city services to help them uh, and to alleviate their suffering, or is this essentially up to the federal government? ま、仕留めているところであり uh, in regards to those people who are still being forced to live within the temporary housing, uh, the majority of them are elderly people. Uh, those people who are or have the capacity to rebuild their houses or move somewhere else have been moving away from the temporary housing. And we have also been proactively uh, encouraging or helping people, supporting people to move into subsidized public housing uh, set up by the city as well. So those who are remaining within the temporary housing, many of them either do not have the capacity to rebuild their homes or they are waiting with the hope of being able to actually return to their original homes once again as well. This is, of course, for example, those whose homes are within the 20 kilometer zone. And so we are now as a city looking into what efforts can be made to uh, ensure that people can return to their original homes as according to their desire. And we believe that within the next financial year, it will be possible for uh, many people to actually move back once various evacuation orders in particular zones have been listed as well. Of course, it is also important for the city to conduct full explanations in regards to the lifting of these zones and also the procedures for returning and so on. Gerhard. <clears throat> My name is Gerhard Hilscher. I'm from Germany and I'm a freelance journalist. Uh, you have indicated your attitude of uh, proposing a non nuclear energy policy. You've uh, given the example of doing it in your own city. Uh, the question is, uh, and you have sh shown your anger at places that are restarting it or want to start it or at the people who want to restart it. Are you personally possibly willing to lead a national movement to get out of nuclear energy for Japan? Or if you are not willing to do it, but maybe just assist and uh, proposing somebody else as a leader for that movement, for such a movement, if you don't want to do it yourself, because uh, you mentioned Mr. Koizumi, but I think Mr. Koizumi doesn't want to get back into politics, so there must be some other leader. But if you have a proposal, that would be very interesting. Thank you. Thank <laughs> 原発に頼らない町づくりをしなきゃいけないっていうのは、え、脱原発の都市宣言もしてきましたし、多くの自治体の首長さん取り分け東海村の村上村長さんとか、え、小西市の、え、三上市長とともに脱原発を目指す首長会議を組織して、今現在現役も離退した首長も含めると100人以上
まあ、それぞれの地域での取り組みをまあ支援するというか、また国に対しても一定の意見を申し上げる活動も行っています。まあ、我々として、まあ、現地から、被災の現地から、この状況を報告しつつ、皆さんにできるだけ分かってほしいと、この現実を。そうすれば、今なぜ我々が原発に頼らないまちづくりをしなければいけないのかということを理解してもらえると思います。まあ、今後とも今置かれている現実をしっかり皆さんにお知らせするのが私の仕事であってそれ,それぞれの地域で考えるのはそれぞれの住民ではあるけれどもただ現実として厳しい現実がもう5年間以上も続いていくんだということを皆さんにお知らせをするのがその考え方として転換してもらえるようなきっかけになるんじゃないかというふうに思います。A decision that we need to create a community which was do does not rely on nuclear power is, in fact, because of the reality of what we experienced in the disaster. And still today, there are 30,000 people who have been forced to continue living in evacuation away from Minami Soma. So, this is the reality we are facing. Of course, the government is talking about whether there has been recovery in Fukushima, but I would like to clearly say that no, this has not happened yet. And the only way, however, to ensure that、uh, This recovery can go ahead is to ensure that a nuclear power plant disaster will never again be repeated. This is the reason, for example, why we made the declaration as the city of Minami Soma to be a city moving away from nuclear power or nuclear power phase out. This is also the reason why I am working as one of the joint co representatives of the nationwide network of mayors called the Mayors Network for a Nuclear Power Free Japan. This is a network which I lead together with the former mayor of Tokai Village in Ibaraki, Mr. Murakami, and also of Kosai. City in Shizuoka, Mr. Mikami. We are together leading this mayor's network, which comprises more than 100 municipal leaders from all over Japan who are against nuclear power. This is both current and also retired municipal leaders. So, this is one of the examples of a、uh, nationwide effort in which I am trying to share the realities of the nuclear power plant disaster. I am trying to, I believe that it is my mission to tell about the reality of what we have experienced in the disaster and also in these five years. And why I believe that it is necessary for us to move away from nuclear power. And I believe once people really hear the reality of what we have been through, they will understand this also. So, this is my mission. However, of course, it is up to the residents of each region of each city themselves to make the decision about what path they will go down. However, sharing the reality of the suffering over these five years is what I will continue to do in regards to this movement. Thank you. Joel, sorry, there's a gentleman at the back here. Joel, sorry, there's a gentleman waiting.、Yeah. This gentleman here at the back, use your hand up.、Yeah. And then Joel, sorry. Robin Harding from the Financial Times. You, you mentioned、uh, the need to recruit new people to live in Minami Soma. I wonder what's, what's your view on whether Japan should accept more immigrants, and what's your view on whether Japan should accept more refugees? Thank you. えー、南相馬含めて旧相馬藩は、まあ、240年から200年前までに、えー、天,明天保の大飢饉があった時に全く異教徒である浄土真宗の門徒の一行門徒を受け入れて再興してきたという歴史があります、えー、南相馬市に新しい人たちを来てもらう時に国内だけで本当に大丈夫なのかという意見だと思いますけれども、まあ、国内の人が南相馬市に来てもらえるのは本当にありがたいことですけれども我々としてもっともっとまあアジアを含めて今日本の少子化に対する考え方も取り組みも変えていく必要があるというふうに私は個人的には考えていますただ制度設計としてまあこの国がその海外の人を受け入れるのに対して非常にまあ警戒感というかバリアがあるのも承知しておりますけれどもただまあ世界的に考えた時に日本が今のままでいいかどうかについてはまあ私個人的には全くまあ積極的に受け入れすることも行うべきではないかというふうには思っています。
Uh, in the city of Minami Soma, actually, we have the history of more than 200 years ago when there was a crisis in what was formerly the Soma area, actually receiving people from the outside, from the Jodo Shinshu area at this time of crisis. So Minami Soma, or the Soma region, actually has this experience in accepting or receiving people from the outside historically. Um, of course, I believe that there are concerns even within the city about you know, bringing in people even from other parts of Japan. Uh, these cannot be denied. However, I personally believe that uh, considering the situation now and also, uh, for example, the low birth rate in Japan, I believe that we really do need to be looking more outwards, looking at accepting more people from Asia and around the world as well. Of course, uh, there are still, uh, shall we say, barriers in regards to setting up the systems which would be able to do so and concerns which are in place as regards to that. However, I believe when we think globally about the world we are in now, Japan as it is, uh, it, I don't believe it will be possible to continue just with the status quo as it is now. And I personally believe that we should be actively receiving more people from the outside. Thank you. Uh, Joel, and then this lady here, Manja. Joël Lejean from the French Radio and Television and RTL. Um, Sakura Shicho, about your plan on renewable energy by 2030, um, it's something you propose yourself, I suppose, based on your belief about nuclear energy and the, and, and the criticism you have about it and your expectation of renewable energy. So um, why 2030? I mean, um, are you really ready for that or not? Or can you put it into action? And if you can't, is it because of what? I mean, what are the obstacles? I mean, technological, financial, or is it the, the government of Mr. Abe who doesn't help you? I mean, please tell us about it. ま、2030年までにま、再生可能エネルギーで、ま、市内の電力を賄おうということについては私は全く可能だというふうに考えています。え、と申しますのは被災した地域、ま、被災したというのは津波で被災した多くの面積があって、福島県で最大の被災地が
東京オリンピックのために東洋巣を含めて東京のオリンピックのための建設のために使われているクレーンの数でどちらが多いかというふうに考えたときに多分東京でのクレーンの数の方が圧倒的に多いんじゃないかと思います。まあ、これれにに象徴されるようにえー、復興なくして再生なしと言ってきたことを本当に実現するためには、えー、地域の復興を最優先すべきだと私は思っていますただオリンピックに反対する気持ちはありませんしたがって、まあまあ、両立できれば一番いいわけですけれども、まあ、建設は20年つまり2019年までには完成しなきゃいけないという国の責務の中で動いていますから、まあ、南相馬市のそして被災地の復興が本来優先されるべきなのにそれが遅れていく現実もあるだろうと思いますし、まあ、建設単価が、まあ、高騰しています、まあ、これは被災地にとっても非常にマイナスになっていますし、まあ、他の、まあ、被災地でないところの建設単価も上げているのも事実だろうと思いますのでやっぱり節度ある整備というか節度ある、まあ、対応できるような、まあ、国の政策展開があればいいなと、まあ、現,地現,実現地で見ながら考えています。The first question I would like to pose is whether the number of cranes which are being used to bring the situation at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant under control and the number of cranes which are currently being used in Tokyo, for example, in the area of Toyosu for construction <laughs> towards the Olympics, well, which one has the most number of cranes being used at the moment? I believe, of course, it is most likely Tokyo, which、uh, has the higher number of cranes in action. And as this symbolizes,、uh, this really brings into question about if we are looking for real recovery following the disaster, the rebuilding of communities should be promoted, should take the priority. However, of course,、uh, whether this is the case or not is a real question. I'm personally not opposed to holding the Olympics itself.、Uh, the Olympics itself is not something I am opposed to. However, I believe we need to look for a balance to ensure that both can go forward as well. However, it is also a fact that the Olympics having a strict deadline of 2020 means that, of course, various construction and so on is being perhaps、uh, prioritized within the Tokyo area, meaning that areas such as Minami Soma, which were affected by the disaster, are in fact being delayed as a result of this. This is the reality. Also, we are being faced with the issue of construction costs、uh, increasing all over Japan as well, which is having a very negative impact on the affected communities as well. So, I believe what is necessary now is to really have plans and policies which can ensure that the recovery of Fukushima and the affected areas will not be、uh, completely neglected as a result of these Olympic plans. This lady here, and then this gentleman.、Uh, oh, sorry, gentleman, the blue shirt. I think that'll be the last two, yeah? Hi. Hello, AP. Uh, I'm Mari Yamaguchi with the Associated Press.、Uh, AP 通信の山口と申します。あの除染の問題についてあの先ほど少しおっしゃったのであのお聞きしたいんですけれども、あの南相馬に今8000人のあの除染作業員の人がいらっしゃるということですが、あのまあ、除染はやはりあの押し進めなければいけない大事なあの作業で。ところが、まあ、あの交通事故が増えるとか犯罪になるんじゃないかという、まあ、地元の方の懸念もあ,のあるということで、まあ、具体的にその実際町の皆さんは作業員の方をどういう人だと思っているんでしょうかあの例えば、まあ、やはり少しよそ,よそ者よそから来た人でよくわからないあるいは地元の人もいるのかあのそしてあの除染がまあこれからもあの続く。必要な作業であるとすれば、新しいまちづくりの中にこの作業員の人たちがこう含まれるのかどうかということを、あのそれから貧困の問題とかそういう,こうあの非正規の作業労働問題とも関係があると思うので、あのそのあたりの社会問題になっていくそのまちとして引き受けなければいけない問題かどうかということをちょっとお尋ねしたいです。So, the question is regards to the decontamination issue, which was referred to, and we heard that there are 8,000、uh, workers in Minami Soma at the moment. However, if we look at decontamination as something important which needs to be pursued, at the same time as facing、uh, locals' concerns, such as the more accidents and crime and so on, I would like to ask what the local population actually thinks about these workers who are in Minami Soma. Are they seen as outsiders or somewhat of an unknown, or are there also locals within the decontamination workers' population as well? Also, as the necessary decontamination works continue, I would like to 
ask about the role of workers in the rebuilding of the community and also what new social issues this may lead the city to face, such as, for example, poverty or labour-related issues.ま、ましてま、本語師 協力は<笑> So out of the 8,000 workers who are in Minamisoma, around 6,000 of them are involved in the decontamination efforts and the remaining 2,000 are, for example, those involved in the coast reconstruction efforts and so on as well. So this makes a total of 8,000. And they are coming from all over Japan, coming from Okinawa in the south to Hokkaido in the north. I would say that they're actually coming from every single part of this country. Um, but, for example, every time there are cases reported in the media, for example, you know, workers coming from Kansai who are using very harsh words in the Kansai dialect with people at convenience stores leading to uh, the convenience store workers actually quitting in fear because of these harsh words being exchanged, or also experience or reporting of people who had been involved actually, or uh, individual who had been involved in a murder case in a different part of Japan being in Minamisoma as a worker as well. So of course every time these reports are heard the citizens feel unease, they feel concerns about this. Of course it is not good to assume the same of all of the workers who are in the place and any negative reporting and so on should not be applied to all of them. However it is a reality that well these people need to live together with the residents in the city as well. And But in order to go forward as well it is actually the reality that there are people for example with criminal records who are coming to Minami Soma as part of these uh, workers in the recovery efforts, leading to many concerns among citizens and uh, parents and so on as well. Uh, it is also uh, a fact that the number of traffic accidents has very clearly increased since after the disaster. Prior to the disaster, there were no uh, deaths as a result of traffic accidents in Minami Soma. However, last year, for example, we had three people killed in traffic accidents in the city. Um, of course, we need the cooperation both of the residents and also of the workers, but we also need to uh, call upon the workers to ensure that they are not involved in any acts which can become a nuisance to the local population as well. For this purpose, we are working closely to together with the police and also those uh, responsible for the workers or um, responsible positions and so on. We have a regular uh, council which meets amongst these different parties to discuss the situation um, and how to encourage the workers to you know, follow local community rules and also create a good relationship between as well. And of course the most important thing is to create an environment in which it is safe both for the workers to do their work and also for the residents to live. Thank you. And this will be the final question. The gentleman in the blue shirt. Thank you.
でえーまあ、あの主張おっしゃられたようにあの再稼働あるいは、えー、記憶の風化、えー、他方その南海トラフあるいはあのどこで何が起きて,てもおかしくないという日本列島の中で、えー、教訓が学べてないのではないかなという気がします、えー、これはあの例えばいろんな要素があると思うんですけれども政治であるとか行政であるとかあるいは、まあ、日本人のそういう日本人気質であるとか市長はその背景には何があると思われますでしょうか。I'm a freelance. Last week I had the opportunity to go to Minami Soma to report, and I would like to say you can feel a very big difference in terms of the sense or the atmosphere amongst people in Minami Soma in comparison, for example, to Tokyo. Whether it's on the issues of the restart of nuclear power plants, on the memory or how to really remember what happened in the disaster, or also the potential risk of another future disaster happening in Japan, such as in the Nankai Trough area. Trough area. Uh, and I think we really need to question whether Japan has actually learned the necessary lessons from the disaster. Of course, there are various aspects in relation to this political, administrative, and also those related to the character of Japanese people themselves. But I would like to ask you, as a mayor, what you believe is in the background for the reason that Japan has perhaps not sufficiently learned its lessons from the disaster. それは津波で636人が犠牲になってまだ111人が見つかっていない加えて原発事故によって485人もの方々がこの避難によって亡くなられたと認定されています今現実に南相馬市で起こっていることを本当にその南海トラフや再稼働する地域の首長さんたちが知っていたならば市民に対する責任として命の重さを考えるはずなんですけれども残念ながらエコノミーエコノミーエコノミーと叫ぶ首相に象徴されるように命が先なのか暮らしが先なのかということを勘違いしているような人たちが政治の中にもいるんじゃないかと思います。我々政治を預かる現場で政治を預かる者にとって一番大切なのは市民の命なんですよ。命があってこそ暮らしが成り立つわけですから、命を危うくするような政策は推し進めるべきではないというのが私の考え方で、この考え、こういう現場での教訓が、残念ながら生かされていない現実が再稼働に結びついているんだと思います。Well, first of all, to say in conclusion, I believe that the experience of the disaster has not been fully or sufficiently shared. When we look at the situation that 636 people lost their lives as a result of the tsunami, 111 have still not been found, and 485 people are registered as having lost their lives as a result of the nuclear power plant disaster, for example, through the evacuation and so on. This is just in Minami Soma. When we look at this reality, And even what's happening in Minami Soma now, I believe that this is not fully understood, understood by, for example, those mayors in the areas which have restarted their nuclear power plants. However, as a local politician, as a local municipal leader, we have the responsibility and really the burden of protecting the lives of the residents in that area as well. We look at the moment, for example, the Prime Minister always stressing economy, 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 but we need to question whether it's life itself or the daily life and lifestyle which should be more important. And as a politician working on the ground with the citizens, we are really holding the citizens' lives themselves in our hands. And without this life, there can be no lifestyle, no everyday life as well. And therefore, we need to, as local leaders, put or make sure that no actions are conducted which would put the residents and their lives at risk. Therefore, I believe that these lessons have not fully been learned, and this is what has led to the decisions for restart of nuclear power plants. Well, thank you very much to、uh, Mayor Sakurai for coming today and explaining that all to us.、Um, he's far too modest to say, but one of the reasons why he looks so fit is because he's a marathon runner. And、uh, he has、uh, jogged around Minami Soma、uh, probably hundreds and hundreds of kilometers in that supposedly radioactive area. So he's a bit of a symbol himself for the, the revival of his town.、Uh, he looks pretty well to me.、Uh, would you kindly show your appreciation to him for coming? And we hope he'll come back and visit us、uh, again probably next year and tell us how his town is coming on. Thank you very much. Can I remind you, please, just to stay seated until the mayor leaves?